Hello everybody, today I'm at the Detroit Auto Show taking a look at this all new 2024 Ford Ranger XLT. Starting off up front, we are going to have a full front end redesign. Absolutely beautiful LED headlights with your LED C-channel accents, incandescent turn signals, and LED fog lights. Parking sensors are going to be integrated into the middle and lower portion of the bumper. And down below you have two powder coated tow recovery hooks. This XLT does have the 360 degree camera system with your front facing camera right underneath the Ford logo. I absolutely love, love, love this redesign. Um, Ford, if you're listening and you're going to be phasing out the Escape and the Edge, please bring over the European Everest model. It's very similar to this. Uh, however, it's not a truck bed. It has um, a cab, so it's a sporty SUV. Over here on the side, we have your cross path detection sensor with your grayed out fender flare. Coming down to the wheel and tire setup, it looks like we have a Goodyear Wrangler Territory All-Terrain. That is a 255-70R17 on a grayed out 17 inch Ford wheel. Minor splash guards right at the end of the fender flare. Your XLT badging is gonna be right here. Black mirror caps, your mirror mounted cameras right there. This guy does have blind spot monitoring. Running boards that are cab length. Just like the mirror, you have black door handles. This guy does have the FX4 off-road package. And just like the new heavy duty trucks, it does have a bedside step, which makes getting in and out of the bed very easy. Again, cross path detection on the uh, bumper side and then parking sensors are integrated into the uppermost portion of the bumper. Ranger is going to be stamped into the tailgate and your backup camera is going to be right here underneath the Ford logo. LED and incandescent tail lamps with your blind spot monitor located right in there. Right here we have your capless fuel fill port. Absolutely beautiful refresh. I think Ford did an amazing, amazing job. Let's take a closer look now at the interior. Up over on the driver's side door, we have all the window controls for the vehicle, as well as your mirror controls, lock and unlock buttons. Right over here, we have the cargo lamp button, rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle, as well as the dimmer switch for the instrument cluster. Coming up top of the dashboard, it is a hard plastic dashboard that has this kind of textured honeycomb looking plastic material as accent trim. Working our way to the instrument cluster, it looks like it is a mostly digital instrument cluster with some um, more analog style readouts on the sides. Coming back to the steering wheel, we have a more mild leather on here. It's not super soft, it's not super, super hard mild bolsters at 10 and 2. Over on the left hand side of the steering wheel we have the um, cruise control buttons as well as your gap adjustment and your lane keep assist button. Steering wheel mounted audio controls on the little left side. Over here on the right side we have the control pad for the center LCD display as well as some more steering wheel mounted audio controls. This guy does have a regular key. Storage tray right here for some change. Nice vertical touchscreen display. Unfortunate, there we go. It is pretty high definition. I believe this guy does have wireless CarPlay and Android Auto. I do apologize for how dark it is in here. There's not really super great lighting at the show. Below that we have the single zone climate control as well as some other miscellaneous buttons for the climate control. The hazard light button is here. Down below we have a wireless charging mat, a USB, USB type C and a charging mat right here. Nice change storage there. Two cup holder storage. Shifter with manual plus minus. Electronic parking brake. This is your, I believe, parallel park button. Traction control off button. Automatic start stop off button. It is on by default. This is your uh, off road or trail mode with FX4, I believe. Right here we have your push button transfer case. Two high, four high, four low. And then your different drive mode dial. Depending on the drive mode you're in, it will actually change on the LCD display right there. Coming back to the armrest, we have a really nice armrest with a key fob holder and a 12 volt outlet right in here. Cutouts on both driver and passenger side for cord management. Nice cloth bolstered seats. 
This guy has two glove boxes. The first one's more of a shelf system right here. Second one is gonna be right there. Coming up top to the vanity, it's gonna be non-lit for your passenger as well as the driver. Up top, we have glasses storage as well as your LED dome map light master controls and then your auto dimming rear view mirror. So for being an XLT, you are gonna get some pretty premium features in my opinion. Um, this uh, vertical touchscreen display is pretty sweet. Uh, navigation, as you can see, it is kind of 3D. We are at Huntington Place in Detroit at the Detroit Auto Show. You can also control your uh, climate while you're in the navigation setting or preference as well. Let's take a look at the back and see how much legroom we have. So not a whole bunch of legroom. I'm not really gonna get in because I, I, I can't fit, but you are gonna have some under seat storage too right here. You pull on this string and the whole thing comes up. You have storage in the form of a pouch behind the passenger seat, not the driver's seat. Generously sized storage right here. USB, USB type C, 120 volt, 400 watt power outlet right there. This center seat does double as an armrest slash cup holder. And on the XLT, you are gonna get a manual sliding rear window. Hanger hooks and grab handles are on both passenger and driver's side. And your LED dome map light is up right there in the middle. Let's take a quick look now at the bed. So to open the tailgate, you're just gonna come up to it, pull on it. It is gonna be dampened for you, which is nice. Looks like you have three tie down points on each side for a total of six with an additional tie down point with the cleat system it looks like. You're also gonna have some power plugs back here. It looks like you have a 12 volt uh, 60 watt max right here or 160 watt. Then you have an actual home plug outlet right there. This does have the new tailgate design so you have your inch markings all the way here. You also have your seat clamp inputs right here as well with a cup holder on the driver and passenger side. Putting the tailgate up is real easy. I can take two fingers and slam it shut. Let's take a quick look at that towing and payload sticker. Look at the towing and payload sticker for this vehicle. I am kind of surprised they have them on the Fords here at the auto show. So there you have it, the all new 2024 Ford Ranger XLT. If you liked the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And if you wanna keep up to date with more vehicle walkthroughs and auto show content, be sure to subscribe to the channel and go over to Twitter or X and give me a follow as I will be posting all of my auto show content exclusively on that platform first. Also, be sure to check out all the affiliate links in the description below as it greatly helps out the channel. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.